from what I've what I've seen is if you have limitation of range of motion here, so if the internal rotation is limited here, and it's also limited here, that my assumption is going to be that it's more muscular than joint. But if you have full range of motion here, it feels really nice and loose, but then you bring it back up here and you feel tightness or a jamming sensation, then you start thinking more a joint issue rather than muscular. So uh, that's the two differentiations I have. For just, and it's very simplistic, but it uh, very quickly takes you from the muscle or joint. So let's look at a technique for this. Let's go, can you roll over to your stomach, head up here, foot down there. And let's see if we can address the rotation issue of the hip. And what we'll do is we'll put her in a flex position. Since that, <coughs> she seemed to be restricted in both. We can choose either position, but for these we'll go into flexion. So we're going to flex your knee up, try to put your foot on the side. So we'll, since it was restricted in both positions, and we know that it's tissue, we can use the joint to remove the tissue issue. And we saw that the sacroiliac joint is connected, and that's where the muscles are originally from for propulsion for running. So based on that, we'll flatten the foot out, and we'll assess the, the, uh, the movement of the pelvis. So we can do an inferior, we can just go in and put our toes in line with the joint and use that to treat the tissue, just to assess the tissue and the mobility. So from the lumbar spine, paraspinals, and the glute, we have definitely in the quadratus lumborum, we can assess these, these tissues by an inferior glide of the hip. We can also turn our toes and add compression or approximation. Drop a hand to the hip, to the trope, off the lateral side of the hip, to the trochanter, and add a compression over here. So a little restriction there. So palpate for sensitivity, there's a tight restriction right there. And at this moment, we can keep her distracted, which creates a relative External rotation, we can act. Can you internally rotate your thigh? Pull your thigh into the table. Hold. Don't let me move. Hold. Now, continue to pull it into the table. Pull me in, pull my hand into the table. Keep rolling in. And as we do that, I can have an inferior glide for the tissue stretch. Now, at this point, hold that. Now, relax. We'll keep her in this position. So now she's in the north straight line, more biomechanically optimal position. We can definitely address the tibia later as it's restricted, but from here, we can go right to the hip. And set our technique up. And we're in that fold. Test the sensitivity of this. There's no reactivity. Patients agree. Let's flex your head down. Pay attention to the dura. Let's go back to your back. And so this was the side of restriction. And you'll see it. We have actually we have this side. So we'll go back to the same position. So I want to see what it is. So treating the opposite side. One clears this. So we always want to check both sides. And if you look at that, we look at the internal station here. So get more. let's go back to your stomach. Yep, you have to scroll up to your belly. And then we'll reassess the extension again. Let's see if we made a difference in extension Yeah. So fixation says. And a little bit more abduction. So now we've got our inflection, I mean extension, abduction, we get more range. 